Howdy y'all, got the Bulldog on the channel. I uh, wanted to discuss something, if I can get it out before the phone rings again, uh, that is not common, but it is no longer rare. Uh, the group discussion. <laughs> I, I guess that's the best way to describe it. Uh, whenever we, we've had in the past before where people come in and maybe they're really hard of hearing, maybe the English is not their first language, and they have somebody there to speak for them. Well, then it becomes a relay. You're speaking to this person over here, but this person over here is making the decision. So this person over here has to relay to this person over here. And it is difficult, really difficult, to get a straight answer when you're talking person to person. You got a whole degree of difficulty whenever you are relaying. We just had an experience where there are three people and they discuss it like a committee. One of them is really hard of hearing, the one that actually owns the vehicle, so they really can't talk on the phone. There's one of them that kind of knows uh, a little bit about vehicles, and then there's the spokesman for the group. So there's three of them, and they're trying to relay back and forth and around and on the phone, and the connection's bad, and even when they do talk to you, 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 when they're saying something, you don't know if they're talking to you or the person, the other person in the room that they're discussing it with, and, you know, they've got five things they want done. Okay, well, how much? You know, $800. Oh, my! I didn't know it was going to be that much. Okay, well, how much for... You know, point one, or one, two, and four. I, uh, well, let me sit down and look at, and you're going through the computer trying to separate all this out, and uh, okay, okay, well, this much, you know, three hundred. Oh, well, what about one and three? So you're going through oh, about this much, and then they, every time you tell them something, they're gonna have, they have to discuss it, and the the conversation's going. And you're sitting there. What do I need to do? But um, and they're still talking. So what are, what are, what are we what are, what are we supposed to do? I mean, I'm wound pretty tight anyway. I wasn't even the first. I don't know, I've talked to him about five or six times on the phone in the last two days. Uh, and I, I, it winds me up, but just hearing my boss talk to him on the phone, because the second time they called back in five minutes, uh, I, he, well, fortunately he came down in the middle of his lunch because the phone just kept ringing over and over. And I, I said, okay, hold on. And I let him talk to him because he's the one that talked to him earlier. And it just kept going and going back and forth. And how much for this and this? Or how much for this and this? And how much for this and this? And until you just, you don't know what to do. What do we do? Please, just tell me what to do. So... I understand that it's on the customer side that it's difficult to make a decision, especially when you're on a limited budget. But I'll be honest, when a repair is going to cost $800 and you find somebody else to do it for five, spending $500 to not fix it is not saving money. I'll just put that out there. Because 
we usually find out later if it comes back. Sometimes they never come back. Sometimes there's not enough to come back with because they're destroyed. The one that I checked out, the last video I did, they had a friend who did free repairs. Now it's blown up. Well, yeah, I can fix it. Going to be several hundred dollars. If I can fix it. That free repair got a lot more expensive. Cheap repairs can get a lot more expensive. And that's another thing that we were dealing with with these people on the phone is they were told different somewhere else or somebody else told them different. And the person that told them that actually called us. What are you talking about with this arrow? Well, this. Whoa, we did this to it, okay? Well, that's news to us because we didn't think that they made these parts. Well, that's what I put in it. You put them in there? Well, no, I had this other place put in it. So you know it's that part? Well, no, they told me it was this part. So what brand is it? Well, I think it was this. Wrong brand. It's, you know, aftermarket, but still, it's one of those deals where only the name brand will work. We have not seen any other brand that actually functioned correctly in that application. So, say, well, you know, we don't use that brand because they'll make the, they'll cause other parts to go bad. Why is it here? Because all the parts went bad. What do you do? You know, there's a reason that we don't use off-brand stuff. I, I understand that somebody that doesn't know where I'm going with this uh, might be kind of confused, but you know, you need to find out why somebody's doing what they're doing. And if you don't understand, I'm sorry. But not knowing what's going on will can cost you a lot of money. Uh, cost us a lot of headache. We're trying to explain as best we can the specific application to that customer. It, it's, I don't know, every time you say something, the entire application changes, the, the, the whole thing changes. You know, squirrel! Uh, you're, okay, this right here. You mean this? No, no. This. This right here. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Right here. Right here. This. This is what I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah. No. No. This. This. Right here. Right in front of you. This is what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. I get it now. I get this. Yes, this. And then the phone rings five minutes later. About what we were talking. No. This, this, I really wish people would help out. Oh my golly, that's a lot of money. I know somebody that'll do it for cheaper or whatever. Stop muddying the waters. Good grief. Sorry. Rant over. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit your little bell notification and share it all around. Talk to you later.